This is oil seed radish. It makes uh, probably 15 to 18 inch long by three to four inch around three to four inch um, diameter um, root. And, um, it's like and a daikon. yeah, it's bigger than a daikon. And of course, that's just the root that you harvest. Of course, there's a, there's a tap root that's going deeper than that. So it's in here to break that hard pan open. And then the other one is um, this one here. Um, Facilia tanacetifolium, fringe facilia, or tansy leaf facilia. It's in, um, related to comfrey. And it um, also has like, like comfrey and borage. They, they have really big tap root systems too. And so it's all about busting the soil open, but the tansy leaf um, facilia is also noted um, to be really, its exudates are really great for improve, improving soil diversity. It's, it's one of the major um, cover crops in Europe. We're kind of clueless about it here, but it's a real big deal by Biodynamic and the more cutting edge growers in Europe. That's what they use. And when it comes into flower, both of these, when they come into flower, will be excellent um, insect and bacteria also. And then on the edges, there's rye, cereal rye, which also is, of the grains, is one of the better um, things for breaking compaction. And then simply for the future for control of uh, mud and stuff, there's white clover in the pathways. That's not particularly noted for breaking up the compaction, but we don't care about the compaction of the pathways. In fact, we want the pathways not to be very fertile, not very productive. Right, well, yeah, all right, if you want to come back to talking about the cans and what's going Yeah, I remember about them and stuff. All right. All right. Yeah. You're going to be up after he goes through that. Okay. Yeah. 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 On the fan. Yeah. It's kind of more information from my Okay, so this was our first experiment to see what the heat could do, and we grew it without the heat, which is, as Bob knows, I say all the time, you can certainly do. Uh, these plants are just starting to get a little bit of heat right now, and actually it's probably not even great that they do, with the exception of the tomatoes we just put in, because these guys are already at maturity, and the heat's just going to speed up their, um, the time that they can sit in the ground and we can get a sustained harvest. But what we grew in here, at first, because we didn't have heat, we're cold tolerant crops which don't need heat and just thrive through the winter. Any crop that's half, half hardy can go through the winter easily in a greenhouse. We use movable insulation floating row cover for the coldest nights. But um, spinach, turnips, lettuce, braising mix, um, more lettuce, more um, mustard kind of greens, lettuce. The crop that's in flower went in, we knew it was going to go to seed, we put it in on purpose. So it would go to seed and feed the beneficial insects. That's broccoli rob that was too far gone by the time we had the greenhouse ready. We knew we wouldn't get a crop out of it, but that didn't matter. Then arugula that's in, um, or more of the um, uh, red streaks, Mizuna, which we, at this stage, is probably big enough to use for a cutting mustard, otherwise it'd be a salad green. Then um, arugula that's in bloom, and then once again, it's for the beneficial insects now. And then more lettuce. And then here, carrots. These should be quite spectacular. They were direct seeded? Um, direct seeded. How um, long ago was that? They were direct seeded probably about five weeks ago or something. Mm -hmm. they're, just, they're going to start booming now. They're at that stage. They're very slow to start. Now they're going to take off. That's with the new seeder that we just bought. Um, and um, then over here, more salad greens, two different kinds of chicories, um, trephine, and um, I think it's Lola Biondo. Um, or something like that. That's that's Elliot Coleman's favorite. It doesn't need to be blanched. You can cut it and use it like that. And then a little bit of char, then mosh, which doesn't need the heat at all. Um, and then Claytonia, our miner's lettuce, and then several different kinds of parsley, finishing out with um, plants and seedlings of collards. Um, and then we've already harvested large amounts of pak choy to go to the hungry, lots and lots of baby white turnips, and arugula, and so we've come in now and planted tomatoes right down the middle here. Um, that's what we want the heat for. That's what Dan's working so hard to get us the heat, heat to here with. That's what we're strategizing for, is we want to keep this, these tomatoes above 50 at least. And so that's what we're working on heat for. And we also have them here. We took out a row of spinach, left the rest of the spinach in, harvested the turnips out, and put tomatoes in there too. How were these like six or eight weeks? Or? These went in probably closer to eight, and we weren't happy about it. We would have liked to have the heat going a little sooner. You'd like to go at six. 
Um, we'd like to go with six. They were starting to senesce, you know. Yeah. And that's not gonna that's gonna reduce our um, yeah. our production. They're starting to go starting to go to seed, you know. Um, and we were people were really pushing hard. They really they wanted to put them in last Thursday really bad, you know. And I was I didn't I I was getting ready to say you know it's just too cold. The doors have been open too much. We were working on the screens. I really worried about it, but I didn't have to. Bad as they wanted to put them in as growers, they felt the cold long enough and said we better wait till Monday. You know. But they were here just jumping on it to get them in. I mean, they, they wanted them in really bad. Um, a couple warm days, you got spring fever. Well, no, it's that we had these plants ready. Yep. You know, yeah. it wasn't oh, spring okay. fever. We planned on heat, yep. you know. And so these plants were ready, you know. And they had to go in. That's one where it was at. It was that or step them up, you know.